Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Sky here, and today I'm gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I heard that this was a good game, so I thought I'd try it. Download it on Steam. So, uh, at the beginning, it says, uh, do not play this game if you're easily disturbed, or, um, if you have, if you get, like, uh, depressed easily well or if you have anxiety so <laughs> I have anxiety so why not let's give this a try oh uh, sky you gonna enter my name press ok alright let, let's go hey 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 I seen an, uh, an annoying girl Coming toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to attention she might draw to herself. This, that girl is Sayori, Sayori, my neighbor, and, and, my neighbor, and good friends since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but... It just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk together. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and f more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me, like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk. And let Sayori catch up to me. Okay, uh, hey! I overslept again! Oh my gosh! But I. But I caught you this time! That's her voice. Okay. Don't judge me. Oh no, this is me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like we're, you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Sky. Well, if people stare at you or acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, whatever you say, Sayori. Sorry, I get confused. Hee <laughs> hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sky, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told, I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Huh? That's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of the many conversations where I dismissively go on with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly con content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> what a, what a guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I, I'm worried that you won't let, learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I, and I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. 
You trust me, right? Don't, don't make, don't make, don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look for, I'll look at a few c clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself rel relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little and a little bit even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head the school day is an extraordinary extraordinary as ever and it's over before i knew it after i pack up my things i stare blankly at the wall before i announce motivation clubs so i already walks wants me to check out some clubs i guess i have no choice but to start with the anime club hello sayori 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 must have come to the classroom while i was spacing out i look around and realize i'm the only one left in the classroom i thought i'd just catch you coming out of class the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to play it up for me. It's, it's if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you, you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know know what well that uh, you could come to my club Sayori yeah there's no way I'm going to your club oh meanie Sayori is vice president of the literature club not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature in fact I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the after the who the one who proposed the club inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm I'm going to anime club. Come on, please. Why do I care so much anyways? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yay, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the d classroom door. Hey everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me, I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Girl one. Welcome to Sayori. Sayori always says nice things about you. 
Like, seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Sky. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Not to keep. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she is a, probably a first year. Hold on a sec. Yeah? Alright, sorry guys. Um, my mom just, you know, came in. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay. Alright, but anyways, she is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can ignore, you can, you can ignore, you can just ignore her when she's getting moody. Sayori says, sorry, I have a lifesaver in my mouth. Sayori says that quietly. Quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more, more mature and timid. Sorry. Let me just swallow this. Uh, Yuri, who appears to be more comparatively. Oh, darn. Ah, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it's. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Great to see you again, Sky. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we knew we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile... At me so genuinely feels a little. You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Sky. We made room for you at the at the table so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made I made them. I'll get them. S sorry, I just got a little too excited. Then how we, then how, then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks or arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's why it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Sayori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I said. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoosh! Natsuki lifts the foil. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cat. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! 
I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, and then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori takes, talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcakes, a cupcake around my, in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What, what are you thanking me for? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before made them for you or anything. Uh, uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for but not for you 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 dummy. Alright, alright. I give I give up on Natsuki weirdly Weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying his tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before sit setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that's, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant... I meant, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You you could probably be a board member of any other major club. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. Alright, guys. Um, I think this is where I'm going to stop for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.